Now, Test of Unlimited Solar Crown is finally out. I mean, at least the demo is out. And I played it for the first ever time on this video. So here's my first impressions of TDU Solo Crown's demo. But you know, before we get into this video, let's hit 4,000 likes on this video if you want to see Solo Crown videos when this game comes out. And hello, it is I, and let's get into this video. Oh, I'm a woman. Or I could I could be like a man who identifies as a woman or a woman I don't I, yeah, I'm 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 female. You won't be able to drive some of these cars until you've gained enough reputation. Yes, progression. Okay, That's something I love about this game. Here are the first three cars available to start the competition. Oh, we got we got starter cars. What kind of starter car? All oh, 370Z. Okay, and Alpine A110. Come on, and a Mustang 5 liter. I mean, of course they're not super slow cars, but for modern standards, I think this is probably like the slowest car of them all. Hey, should we go for the Alpine? I think if we you're should. Not sure which car to choose, try it out first. That's what the test drive is for. Hey, that's the name of the game. Okay, let's test drive this car. Okay, I just got crashed into or something. Okay, what was that? Oh, I got crashed into by a taxi. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run you down, mate. Oh. Oh my god, the paddles actually move. Okay, my test drive is over. Should I test drive again? Nah, let's buy the car. Okay, we get to select the spec of the car. That's something you can't do in Fortnite. I mean, you can. You can, of course, choose the color of the car like here, but you can't choose the interior. Oh my days. Look at that. Hey, come on. Let's go for the brown interior. I know some people hate brown interiors, but I love it. And you know what? I actually kind of like these wheels. And that's my car all spec'd up. And you know what? Let's buy the car. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I love how cheesy the cutscenes are. Congratulations on acquiring your very first car. Oh, and also, if that's a Vivian that I'm thinking about, then she actually sent me a personalized message. Hello, Yuan. How are you doing? Yep, she said my name. She said my... I'm such a simp, man. I'm such a simp. Okay, let's listen to this car. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, photo mode. Okay, that's that, that's what the photo mode looks like. Okay, pretty pretty decent photo mode. I mean, it, it's pretty standard. What if I press tab? Change. It. Oh my god, interior photo mode. Hey, she do be mogging though. Honestly, I cannot believe that this is a double A racing game. This is not AAA. This is not Forza level, and it looks like this. Oh my days! I'm so excited for this game. I wonder if I can map my indicator button to my Fanatec wheel. Yes, okay. Okay, we have lost the ability to fl uh, flash our headlights, but we do have the option to... Turn the sick! Oh my days, look at them indicators! They're oh my days, are that Audis, yeah? And they turn off automatically! Oh, red light, let, let, let's stop it. That was close. Later. Uh, break! Break! Okay, that would have... That, that, that... What the hell is that Raptor doing? I've never seen... Oh my god, that kind of looks cool though. Oh wait, is this an online race? I'm right at the end and let's send it! Yeah, okay, we're racing with one online person. Let's try not to crash into them. Oh my god, I love these tight, narrow alleyways, man. Like, this is what we need in Forza. Like, tight street races. Because street races in, like, Horizon 5, they're so dead. Okay, no, no traction control. Oh, my, my online friend just crashed. Oh, he's spinning. Oh my days, if I do win this year, I will be a happy bunny. Okay, I'm winning again, I'm winning again. Okay, wh where's the finish line? Eh! No! 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 <laughs> oh, there's the finish line. I'm racing the TTRS. Oh, it's gonna win. Hey, why does he look like Andrew Schultz, man? Oh, another red light. Oh, I ran it. Oh, that's a shame. I love the traffic lights, though. Oh, my days. It's gonna make cruising so fun. I really wish the indicators were brighter, though, because that is so dim. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining because indicators are indicators, and they do be very nice, but I, I, I wish they were so much brighter. Oh, is this an alleyway? Oh, my God. Look how narrow this road is. Oh, imagine the picture opportunities here. That, that's something about this game. So many incredible picture opportunities. Oh, my days. We need... Oh, I've got solar chrome. Oh my god, it's like TDU2. It shows the mileage that I've driven in this car. Yeah, 4.8 miles. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, yeah, little details like that make a huge difference. It makes the car feel so much more personal to you. It's not like Forza where you just get given cars over and over again and then you forget how many cars they have. Like, you genuinely build a proper connection to each car and I love it. Uh. Oh my days, is that an underground buggy? Oh, oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, wait. That, that, okay, I did not know those barriers would raise automatically. I, I just smashed through it because I just assumed that they were just... That's so cool. They automatically open. Look at the slam drafter there again. Also, let's wait for the barrier to open. Oh my god. That is so cool. 
Oh, okay, just went through the wall, but like, that's so cool. Oh, that, that, that's something else I love about this game. We drive on the correct side of the road. Oi, oi, get a stylish in, mate. Oh my god, I just realized. You can hear the wind. That is amazing. You can hear wind sounds, and I don't think you can hear that in Forza or any other racing game. And look at this. We can actually change the wheels. Now, I actually do like that. Oh, we can put rotor forms for free. Oh, we got window tints as well. Oh my days. And interior customization, of course. And for the livery. And you know what? Let's go for a satin gray. Yeah. How much is that? 30. Oh my days. Screw it. 30 grand. Oh, hang on. That's, that's something I like about this game. You can walk. Yeah, you can't walk in Forza. And you, I'd, can you walk in the crew motor? F I think you can. Okay, here's the first time flooring it with the modifications on. Oh, that, that's pretty quick. Now let's do a nasty drift. Oh my god! That was decent! Oh, we found the slammed Raptor again. Oh my days. It looks so funny, man. They beep at me. Also, I've probably spoken about this already, but the damage model in this game is very good. It's so much better than like a lot of racing games of today. Oh, there's there's a wreck nearby somewhere. Uh, wh where would it be? Okay, it has to be. Oh yeah, I found it. Oh my days, what is that? Is that a Volkswagen Beetle buggy? Oh, it is, and I'm gonna collect it. There you go. See, this is something I love about TDU. Is the wreck system. It's kind of similar to barn finds in Forza, but instead of finding a car and then that's it, you can restore it. You basically have to find individual wrecks off each car. So, you know, it's basically barn finds, but with progression, which is amazing. I absolutely love, okay. And this is something I love about TDU games as well, which is of course the dealerships. And look at the choice of cars we have. We have an E-Type, can I buy this E-Type? No, I definitely cannot. But yeah, man, how cool is that? You can literally view the cars. You can actually open the doors and stuff like here. Yeah, start engine, there you go. Yep, let's carbon monoxide everybody. Yeah, this would definitely not be allowed in a real car dealership, but you can do it in a video game, so funny. Oh, and also there's a horn. Yeah, that's so cool. What does the horn sound like in the Beetle? That is very funny. And finally, how does the horn sound in the 2CV? Same thing as the Beetle, basically, so yeah. Also, I don't know if I've included this in this video yet, but the city, the city is very nice. I mean, Hong Kong Island is basically just a massive city, but it, it, it's such good map for cruising. People say, oh, if a whole map is a city, then it would be boring. Well, this is clearly not the case. But yeah, I haven't even entered the countryside or like the mountains or like anywhere off road. And I'm having so much fun with this map. And something else I really like about this game is the parked cars on the side of the map. I mean, I know it's such a tiny detail, but it means you can actually sort of like practice parking your car. French style. Oh my day. Look at that. Petrol stations. Oh my days. I love this. And look at that. My car is clean even though. Oh my hazards are on. Oh my days. You never get that in TDU2. Oh, look at that, the solo hotel. Yes, let's go in there. Oh, there's a clothing store. Hello, woman. Who got you smiling like that? Like, what's in it? Oh my god, models. Oh my god, I can change genders. Yes. Look at the selection of beards. Yeah, you don't get that in Forza. So, yeah, let's add that to the list. Beards. Then you can actually select your mustache. Oh my days. Hey, you know what? You can't change the skin color in Forza. So, let's add this to the list. Yeah, and you definitely can't change the size of your forehead. And she woke up a man. Yeah, and what's here? The rooms! Okay, let's check out the rooms. Now, apparently we won't get houses at launch in TDU Solar Crown, but you can go inside your house, which you cannot do in Forza, so yeah! Add that to the list, we can, we can actually walk around our house, and the houses actually have a use, I mean, it's a hotel room, but like, yeah, the accommodation has a use, but in Forza, the only point of houses are to get new fast travel hotspots and like, yeah. And look at the view, this is amazing, I wish you could actually see the cars in real time that would be so amazing oh look it shows the time that that's something forza doesn't do in forza like time doesn't even exist but here yeah it's, it's 151 we, we know what time it is that's very nice oh this garage looks so cool it's like a bat cave although this is not an individual garage and you probably share it with all the other people in the hotel 
this is a cool feature, man. This is so cool. Like, you don't get you can you don't get to like walk around your garage in, in other games. So yeah, like imagine if I bought another car and then that car would be parked here, and then another car would be parked here. Oh my days, I would love that. And look how good this car looks here. Hey, what is this? This is a stadium. Hong Kong Stadium. Also, I love how lots of the things here are smashable. Like, it's not like too much is smashable to the point that there's no point of sticking to the road. But for a double-A racing game, you would not expect so many things in this game to be smashable. Like, yeah, I, li I like the smashingness. Like, if I'm bored, I could just go here, like, smashing everything I see. It's amazing. So, yeah, I mean, I've been recording this video for just over an hour now. And, yep, those are my thoughts of the TDU Solar Crown demo.